Hello everyone, I'm Professor Lee of Dr. Wild of TV. Which mushroom is one year old mushroom grows on broad leaf trees in the summer? It has the most reliable clinical effects among medicinal mushrooms. There are too many important effects, so I'll summarize them later. The harvesting season is from summer to fall, and these days are the best time. What is now is one harvested and dried last fall. It's good because it's large, white, and golden inside. Does it look like that? When storing, it's best to cut it into small pieces, rightly steam it in a steamer, and dry it. However, this one is clean, so I put it in an onion net and dried it in a cool place. It's still very good even after a year. However, there are spots, it may be contaminated or spoiled, so I should cut it into small pieces and remove it. It's hard because it's cork texture and the flesh is in a very good condition. Now, I'm gonna cut it into pieces and make rich mushroom tea, but before that, we need to start the clinical effects, right? Looking at the main active ingredient, one, like other mushrooms, it contains beta-glucan among polysaccharides and two, ganoderic acid, which have various functions such as immune regulations and anti-cancer, and this is the ingredient that gives the rich mushrooms their characteristic bitter taste. Let me tell you about the clinical effects of rich mushrooms. In traditional Asian medicine, it's used for immune activation, longevity, physical weakness, fatigue, decreased appetite, lung function weakness such as silicosis, chronic asthma, anxiety, insomnia, coronary arteriosclerosis, rhinitis, and chronic hepatitis. It's recorded in the American Herbal Dictionary as an immune boosting herb. In modern medicine, there are more than 40 controlled clinical studies. Let me explain about the anti-cancer and immune enhancing effects of rich mushrooms. One, when taken with conjunction with anti-cancer treatment, taken for one to three months, increased anti-cancer effect, decreased mortality rate of cancer patient, improved side effects of leukocyte reduction caused by anti-cancer drugs. Two, increased activity of NK cells and T cells in terminal cancer patient. Three, reduced size of adenoma in colorectal adenoma patient. Four, 88% of patients with positive oral human papilloma virus were converted to negative. Five, reduced the prevalence of cold and flu. Six, shortened the duration of herpes simplex symptoms on the genitalis and lips. This is because immunity improved. Rich mushrooms increased, decreased the immune function, and also have immune modulatory effect in autoimmune disease. Therefore, it has been proven to improve allergy, rheumatoid arthritis, and acute herpes just pain. It also has the effect of improving liver function, intestinal function, kidney function, heart function in patients with various disease. On the other hand, there are diseases that are not effective contrary to what is known. In five studies on diabetes and hyperlipidemia, there is no significant effect and there is no effect on improving cognitive function or memory. This is a cross section of mushroom. As you can see, it is in very good condition and there is no damage. Since it's a hard mushroom, you need to cut it into an appropriate size to boil it. This size is enough. The daily dose is about 5 to 15 grams. The first decoction is 10 grams. Half a fist is about 10 grams. This amount is 10 grams. Put it in 1 liter of water and boil for about an hour. Do not throw it away after the first decoction. It's better to use it again in the second decoction. When reboiling, boil for 2 hours. The active ingredient of which mushrooms are stable to high temperature, so there is no significant loss even if you boil it for about 2 hours. Rich mushroom tea is done. I boiled 10 grams in 1000 cc of water for about an hour, so the water didn't decrease much, right? The amount of tea is about 800 cc. This is the first decoction. Don't throw away this mushroom, and you can boil it again for the second time, or even for the third time, but I think it's better to use it only for the second decoction. 
Since I boil it for the first time for an hour, I should boil it for about 100 minutes for the second decoction to extract more. The tea color is also good. Should I taste it? Which mushrooms are characterized by their bitterness, and the bitterness varies greatly depending on the concentration. Tea boiled for 30 minutes to 1 hour will be a little less bitter, and if boiled for about 2 hours, it will be more bitter. This was boiled for an hour, so it will probably be moderately bitter. Let's taste it. Wow! As expected, it has the general mushroom scent, and it's a little bit of based on mushroom scent. It's not too bitter, but a little bitter. Well, next, there's a very subtle astringent taste and a subtle sweetness. It's really good. Everyone, I hope you use a lot of rich mushroom tea in the fall to keep your house. I want to have one more drink. It's really good. Oh, I should drink it often. You should know the side effects. One, allergies. Stop taking it first, and if severe, visit the hospital. Especially those allergic to mushrooms should be careful. Two, stomach problems such as nausea or insomnia. If you experience them, stop taking it for two to three days and start again with a small amount. Precautions: One, pregnant women breastfeeding avoid taking it as there is still insufficient safety data. Two. If you are taking anticoagulant, antiparietal agent, or immunosuppressant, consult your doctor. Which mushroom have the ability to raise immunity when it is low, and lower immunity when it is overactive? They are also truly precious mushroom that is effective not only for patients, but also for healthy people. If you look at the playlist, there are part 1 and 2 lecture video on top 4 medicinal mushrooms with proven immune boosting and anti-cancer effect in the medicinal mushrooms clinically proven effect section. So, please refer to them as well.